Welcome to the Games Freak. Snares football games were shot. 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 Have I got an episode for you? Tony Miola's Sidekick Soccer from Electoral Brain. Yes, this is Snez Football Games were she So what we got today? Tony Miola's Psychic Soccer. Look at this. This screams shite. Surely it's a case of how many turds, not if there will be turds. And just look at this. This is beautiful. This is why this is why I do this episode and this is why I run this series of videos for games like this which really bring home what I'm all about. Shit football games. Right. Let's get you into a cup. Unfortunately, there's no Tottenham, so as a standard, I have to be Milan. Um, that's the speed, that's the time, that's how well matched each opponent is. So let's get stuck in Milan versus Marseille in the first round of the cup. Right, let's have a look. So you've got this kind of like a set piece choosing option, which is pretty cool actually, although I'm not sure that it has much effect on the game. Um, then we're going to go into a bit of formations, not many formations on there. But I'm going to try and choose a nice attacking one. Um, yeah, 424. Happy days. Now we've got another set piece from Free Kicks. Going to have the banana, the pass, or the loft. Uh, it's got to be banana in it. Everyone enjoys the banana. Ooh, have a banana. Right now, cheater, cannon. Land on the floor doing sit ups and heading the ball, heading the ball, shotgun. All this makes sense, right? Um yeah, well I'm assuming pace how good their kicking is and how good their heading is, maybe. Anyway, let's get into this game. The beautiful game. Tony Miola's sidekicks pre game. And now we're into the game. Whew, right, so where to start? Okay. So, the camera, for a start, is, every, is all over the shop. So it swings around and, quite frankly, makes you feel a bit ill. Um, but then, as you're trying to run after the player or trying to close them down like the opposition players there's it feels like you're never actually in control um of anyone until you actually get the ball like normally it's by fluke like i'm in control of that number one there but whew, if i could actually get him to get anywhere near the goal near what penalty how's that a penalty why haven't i got a net great save <laughs> he stood up to that one Pure fluke. Right, so you got a pass button, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can find a player. So you look at the dot. If the dot is green, it's a good pass. If the dot's red, it's not on, which is quite a good um, feature, actually, in my opinion. But the whole spinning round of the camera is like, it's, it'll do you in. It's just really, really unnecessary. This music's great, though. Gotta love it. Oh, look at this ball. Oh, what a move. Unlucky. Um, yeah, it's all over the shop. Stadium making me feel ill as well. Look how far away the, the uh, behind the goal is from the, the actual pitch. You wouldn't want to get a seat behind a goal, would you? Oh, puts a cross in. Ooh. So if you get wide, um, there's a kind of auto cross type of but. Oh, unlucky over a kick, eh? Uh, there's an auto cross style button. That um, basically allows you to put in a decent cross, um, normally like head height, and then one of your players will either 
over here kick it uh, towards the goal or they'll head it towards the goal um, so that's what I've found is the pretty much the standard way of scoring um, the most reliable way of scoring because other than that you've got this shot that's like a worm burner oh you're having a laugh aren't you what's my keeper doing there Man, this is the overhead kick celebration. The patented Marseille in the middle of the pitch overhead kick celebration. And um, with all the team joining in in an overhead kick orgy. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why the hell my keeper suddenly was under my control. Um, and like I say, I didn't know that. So I'm 1 0 down. Great. Although, does it count? Because I didn't have a net. Um, I know neither team's got a net, but I'm sure that's not regulation, is it? Oh, bloody hell. Right. I've got 10 seconds to turn this around. Come on. Oof. Well saved, keeper. So, yeah, I've, I've found that that's probably the... Is it half time? That is half time. No whistle. This referee doesn't like a whistle. He only whistles for throw-ins. Nothing else doesn't even whistle for starting the game um, look he's got his whistle in his mouth to start the game on a, in the second half but don't want to know anything about it anyway um, yeah so control wise a bit lacking shooting wise the only way to really have a dig is if you're going to try and line up a, uh, a long shot with a hoof button which I've scored from a couple of times but that's doable but it's one of them things that you just think there must be a proper shoot button but I don't think there is and if it is it just seems to be a kind of like a strong pass rather than a shoot a shot even right, let's see if I can get a long shot off no that's not strong enough it's a great ball actually in behind the defenders I tried to get the shot off there with a with what I think's a shoot button but it won't have none of it it's carnage in that middle. So it takes a while for everyone to sort of kind of react. Everyone seems to be out of position and then they have to run back behind the ball. They just kind of magically appear where they should have been when the ball broke. <sighs> Mental game. But strangely playable, which is really weird. It's one of them games you think, oh, this is awful. It's got to be awful. You just wouldn't play this. Well, you know what? I probably would have played this back in the day if I'd have bought it probably like on a bargain bucket or something then uh, no doubt I would have played it until I'd sort of won all the cups on it it's the kind of thing we used to do when we were oh hello is that a dig oh because we got so bored of playing uh, all your usual ones like um, I don't know sensible soccer um, ISIS pro uh, oof, not ISS Pro, ISS Deluxe, um, and all them. We just used to search out games that we'd oh that we'd never played before, and just see if we can uh, play them to completion, even if they were crap and they had to be kind of football games. Anything football related was uh, was fair game as far as I was concerned. So uh, I, I played a fair few shit football games growing up, but not as many as I've been playing for this series. I tell you that much. Anyway. Yet yeah, strangely playable, this game, strangely playable. I think the best thing about it has got to be that pass mechanic. And oh, good save, keeper. Um, because of that sort of like uh, traffic light system, which I think is pretty cool, pretty good idea. Anyway, back to the game. 22 seconds left to get ourselves back in it, take it to extra time. What can we do here? Here we go. Looks wide. More quarter to five balls. Not having it though from there. Boys are behind the ball. We've got eight seconds left. Come on. We need to line up something. Even just a shot. Oh, it's not good enough. Crowd got excited, but for no reason. And that's the non whistle for full time. Milan nil. Marseille one. Okay, question. How many turds is this worth? Answer. Four turds out of five. Not as bad as Kevin Keegan's playing manager. But 
this is the best bit of the whole game. When the team lose, they are taken to the electrician's chamber. Only six people are taken there. And only five come out. This is a memorial to the Milan one who lost his life because of Marseille. Oh yes, this is Richard. This is Games Freezes. SNES football games were shite. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Tell your mates. Snes football games were shite. www.gamesfreezer.eu